One of the best ways to irrigate areas where plantings are closely spaced together is to use drip line. Drip line is simply drip irrigation tubing with emitters pre-installed within the tubing during the extrusion process. Available in different emitter spacings and water output volumes, drip line is perfect for irrigating flower beds, ground cover, hedges, vegetable gardens, and is also great for trees. As with traditional sprinkler irrigation systems, when creating your design, it's important to keep efficiency in mind. Understanding the product that you are working with and the best way to install it will help prevent errors in design that may lead to low flow or pressure situations and ultimately dead plants. In this video, we'll cover some of the more common drip line applications and layouts. The drip line we will use for reference is the 17 millimeter Easy ID CV drip line from Landscape Products. For smaller applications, a quarter inch version is also available. In each scenario, there is one point of connection that includes a drip zone kit consisting of a valve, filter, and pressure regulator. The first design is the end fed layout and is typical to flower beds, gardens, and ground cover installations. The tubing is laid out in rows with the inlet from the supply line on one end of the layout. A header row of larger diameter tubing or PVC is used to maximize flow and pressure to the zone to ensure that each emitter is operating properly. A flush point located at the opposite side of the zone kit allows debris to be purged from the system after initial installation and during maintenance checkups. Similar to the end fed layout is the center fed design. The difference is the zone is divided into two sections by the header row forming a continuous loop. A flush point is located in each section on opposite sides of the header row. The shape of your area usually dictates if the end fed or center fed layout is best suited for the situation. The center fed design also allows for larger zones and longer runs. The next common design layout applies to trees. Rather than using a bubbler that essentially floods the base of the tree, you can use drip line to create concentric circles that expand outward from the base following the roots to the edge of the canopy. This ensures that the entire root system receives water rather than just the area close to the trunk. This is especially important for newly planted trees. The outer rings will encourage the roots to seek out the water resulting in a stronger, deeper root system. As the tree grows, you will eventually want to remove the inner ring to prevent it from deforming and choking the tree. This layout can be used to irrigate a single tree or a group of trees. Finally, the single run EZ layout is ideal for smaller drip zones and is useful in linear narrow runs and odd shaped areas. This could include hedgerows, ground cover beds, or vegetable gardens. It is the simplest of the designs since it does not require extra fittings or a header row. Additional drip line design layouts including parking islands, slope grades, and more can be found at landscapeproductsinc.com in the design resource section. If you'd like more information about drip irrigation or other landscape and irrigation products, stop by your local Ewing branch or visit us online at ewingirrigation.com.